Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a related rate cone problem. So we have the radius r and height h of a circular cone are changing at a rate of 2 centimeters per second. How fast is the volume increasing when r equals 10 centimeters and h equals 20 centimeters? So for this example here, we need the volume of the cone, which is v equals 1 third pi r squared h. Now for this example here, you have to be careful. At this exact moment in time, the radius is 10 and the height of the cone is 20. For some cone problems, you make use of the ratio of the radius to the height. But in this example here, we have to be careful because the radius and the height are both increasing at a rate of 2 centimeters per second. So one second later from this moment, the new radius would be 12 and the new height would be 22 because we're just adding 2 to each of them. And notice here that ratio of 1 to 2 is broken, so we cannot use the ratio concept here to do this problem. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the derivative of both sides because the task is to find how fast the volume is increasing. So we need to calculate dv dt for this example here. So to take the derivative of both sides with respect to time, we have dv dt equals, and we're going to ignore this constant 1 third pi, and we're going to apply product rule to the r squared h here. The derivative of r squared is 2r dr dt, and we have times h, plus r squared times the derivative of h is dh dt. So all we're doing is using product rule, but remember, every time we take the derivative of a variable other than t, we have to use chain rule. That's why we have this dr dt and this dh dt here. But once you get to this stage of the problem, notice we're looking for dv dt, but we have one, two, three, four unknown terms that we have to find. So we need to collect four pieces of data to calculate dv dt for this problem. Well, notice right away they tell us that r is equal to 10 centimeters, and they tell us that h is equal to 20 centimeters. And earlier in the problem, they tell us the radius and height are changing at a rate of 2 centimeters per second. So with this information, we could write dr dt is equal to 2 centimeters per second, and we have dh dt is also equal to 2 centimeters per second. So this information was given to us in the first part of the problem. But to find the last piece here, dv dt, all we have to do now is plug in these four terms. So for the next line, we're going to have dv dt equals 1 third pi, and we have 2 times r, r is equal to 10. And I'm going to leave the units out at this step, but just know if we're talking about the rate of change of volume, the final unit is going to be centimeters cubed per second. So we have 2 times 10, dr dt is equal to 2. So we have times 2, times h is equal to 20. And then plus r squared, so we're going to have 10 squared times dh dt is 2. And now we could close this bracket here. So all we have to do for, to close this problem out is simplify. So we have 1 third pi, and in the brackets here, 10 times 20 is 200, and then we have 200 times 2 times 2, which is 800. Plus 10 times 10 is 100, and 100 times 2 is 200. So to close this example out, we have 800 plus 200 is 1,000. So our final answer is going to be 1,000 times pi over 3, which we could write as 1,000 pi over 3. So this is our final answer to the problem here. Okay, well this is going to conclude this related rate cone problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.